one minute to go before race one on Saturday, January 19, and the wind's gone very light. Big snowstorm coming tonight, so tomorrow morning there'll be a nor'easter 20 to 30 with higher gusts. But now, it's gone northeast, but uh, breeze, breeze is down to about two. We have one boat behind us that's going to be late for the start in this lull. They would have made it if the wind held. So the current is very strong, and that's going to bottle up a bunch of boats at the committee boat. It looks like the fleet's nicely spaced, but uh, if we zoom in on the committee boat, I think there's going to be some problems there. All right, coming up to the start, and nobody's at the pin, which is up current. And there's the start. Uh, one boat's doing all right down here. Let me see if I can get a number on that. It's like 24. That's um, Jonathan Austin's boat, but uh, he's not here. Uh, college freshman from Tufts, Ansgar Jordan, skipping that boat. And it looks like uh, it looks like 15 has started at the committee boat. With 14 had to fall in behind because they were barging. And 20 is doing pretty well. All right, let's take a look at who those are. Okay, so uh, taking the start of the committee boat and getting lifted, 15 and 14 with this um, current, they might almost lay the mark from there if that holds, but uh, that's Mike Cannon in 15, Andrew Baker on uh, his windward quarter. Uh, the third start was 20, that's uh, Fred Baker, and it's Ansgar Jordan down here in 24 that uh, is leading the left group. But uh, the fleet needs a, a lefty, uh, not just for the sake of the people that have started left, but just to make the course square, because with this current, they're going to lay the weather mark if the breeze doesn't shift. Here is Santuza finally making the start, and uh, they're starting about a minute late, but they're not in last. Uh, particularly if they get any little breeze, they'll cross one boat that's uh, started uh, late at the other end. Oh, there's still some problems with the committee boat. Okay, windward mark. It is uh, the boat that took the start. Number 15 is leading. That's Mike Cannon. Followed by 20, who started down the little line a little bit. Fred Baker, and then, sorry, and, uh, two Bakers, I think. Yeah, that's uh, actually Andrew in third, Fred in second. And uh, the boat that started, they took the left end. It looks like they're going to be fifth. Uh, 23 Sorcerer, that's uh, Dave Bryan. He's looking fourth there. Well, the wind has gone back left a little bit. These boats are on the starboard pole. Uh, in part because the current's taken them right to left. This is 5th, 6th, and 7th. Uh, the 5th boat was a little late at getting the shoot up, uh, so they're getting rolled by two boats, and as such, they're going to jibe, uh, which will work if they get pressure on that side. And the warp drive sailed right underneath 17, so they should have uh, followed with a jibe before they got blanketed, because there's no future in sailing underneath a boat like that. All right, so Kai is in eighth, followed by Eliza in 18. Sorry, the red boat is Ika. Uh, 18 is a race class boat. Not doing too badly. Eliza with Andrew Sergowitz is jibed right in front of them. Uh, they might be fouling him, but the sailing class boat is going to just jibe into a windward position. Next around is Chris Lombardo. Uh, he's caught a few boats after a quite late start on Wasabi. After that, it'll be uh, Jim Petipa on Phoebe, followed by Andrea and her, Santuza. They were late for the start and started the pin, but they did have a boat or two, including Blue Jay. 
I was saw Rosen, uh, and then I can't quite see who's back there. It might be uh, Rigel. It is.